Hi, I'm J.H. Scott, and this is the first in a series of audio essays. Good morning. A typical greeting, no harm in it. Such an innocuous little phrase. Or is it? One wakes up of a Sunday morning, and by one I mean me, washes, shaves, breakfasts, and takes oneself off to the movies at lunch. Just imagine it, a glorious midsummer technicolor morning in sunny Southern California. As is my wont, I walk from home to my local cinema at the Century City Mall, about a mile away. During my journey, I pass the occasional fellow pedestrian and offer a bright, cheery, smiling, Good morning. True, I offer it not just to be pleasant. Sometimes I just want to see what type of response I will get. At this point, it might be of some relevancy to note in passing how I look during these excursions. I am a rather stocky gentleman of an imposing five feet two inches tall, dressed in a blue New York t-shirt, denim jeans, sneakers, photo chromatic rimless granny glasses, and a Stetson, this last to ward off the effects of the sun. Skin cancer travels in my family. Perhaps one responds to the greetor as much as to the greeting. In any case, I will often get a smiling good morning in reply. Not always. Sometimes I will be met with anywhere from a blank look to an outright stare to a bad look or just be ignored entirely. What engenders this type of response? If someone greets me first, I will always, always respond kindly. It is simply ingrained in me. But these days, I am often guilty of saying nothing to a fellow passerby who says nothing in return, both of us remaining silent, preferring to be lost in our own thoughts as it were. One likes to think that people were kinder in days gone by. Possibly it was never so. On this particular Sunday, I am on my way to see the dark night rises. It has only been a few days since the midnight tragedy. It will prove to be a very popular film. On my way home, I consider my response to this latest example of contemporary entertainment. An essence of pure gloom and doom seems to envelop both the film and its characters, which doesn't rise significantly until the closing frames. What bothered me most, though, wasn't the brutality. It was how casual the brutality seemed. Have I become that desensitized? I don't think so. This film is well on its way to becoming a pop icon of summer 2012. It is my belief that popular culture is shaped by popular entertainment and current society is affected, if only through osmosis, by popular culture. I am J. H. Scott. Good morning.